thousands in the Philippines flee as Typhoon Megi intensifies. In what is being called the strongest storm in the Pacific Ocean since 1990, Super Typhoon Megi struck northern Luzon Island on Monday, October 18, claiming at least three lives as winds gusting up to 260 kilometers per hour tore roofs from houses and toppled electricity poles. Meanwhile, torrential rain set off landslides in mountainous areas. Over 3,000 residents in the Luzon provinces of Cagayan and Isabela had already been evacuated from coastal areas ahead of the storm, along with the announcement of school closures and flight cancellations. The high-speed winds and rains left many areas with zero visibility, taking out power throughout the entire province of Isabela, as well as in 16 of 28 Cagayan towns. Meanwhile, thousands of military, police, relief agencies, such as International Charity Save the Children, and volunteer personnel were summoned in readiness to help along with boats, large trucks, heavy equipment, helicopters, and thousands of food packs were also prepared. U.S. military and U.N. representatives also met with Philippine President Benigno Aquino III to outline plans for how to best offer their assistance. With all her sympathy, Supreme Master Ching Hai is offering 15,000 U.S. dollars, asking that our nearby association members check with Philippine officials and relief agencies to see if any more help is needed and to go, if possible, to offer assistance to the most vulnerable. This amount could purchase 211,000 US dollars in supplies obtained in the United States based on the Philippines' cost of living. Our appreciation, President Aquino and all officials, organizations, volunteers and personnel working to ensure the safety of the vulnerable, as we also thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her kind-hearted concern. May heaven protect the Philippine people as we pray that such weather intensities quickly subside through our united efforts to restore Earth's stability.